All right, let's get a chuck of your 11 Alive weather impact forecast. Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb joining us. Chris, we know that there's a lot of rain in our area, but you're also tracking that movement in the tropics. And we're watching Aaron very closely. We've been watching the wind speeds come down a little bit, but it's still a strong storm. It's a category two with winds of about 150 miles an hour. Right now it's located about a little more than 600 miles away from Cape Hatteras. And you can see the structure of the storm still looks really impressive there. It is pulling away from the Bahamas where they have now canceled the tropical storm watches and warnings that they had there. But look at this wind field. The hurricane force winds extend 80 miles out from the center and then tropical storm force winds extend 230 miles out from the center. And we're going to watch those winds still impacting the Bahamas there. But look how the winds come into the Florida coast, the Georgia coast, and then really stronger winds that will be coming in along the North Carolina coast once we get into the middle of the week and going into Thursday. And not only uh, do we have to deal with the wind, but also the waves. Take a look at this. This is by Wednesday afternoon. We're going to see these waves that are going to be imminent out from the center of the storm coming in and crashing against the shores here. So the rip current forecast is in the high range from Florida all the way up to the Carolinas and even up into the mid Atlantic region as those strongest waves and highest waves will be up to around Cape Hatteras. That's why they had those mandatory evacuations yesterday because that coastal road there on the Outer Banks will most likely be washed over uh, with those waves that are coming on through. Here is the latest track that we have on Aaron based on the five o'clock advisory. We also have a tropical storm watch in effect for Bermuda. And there's the tropical storm warning for the Outer Banks. You can see the storm curving away during the day from Wednesday into Thursday, but still those impacts will be felt along the entire Atlantic seaboard as it moves up toward the north and finally falls apart later on in the week. Two other systems we're watching out there. One in the central Atlantic has about a 60% chance of developing. Another one coming off the coast of Africa has a lower chance, about a 30% chance of developing. Again, those are way out there. We have plenty of time. Uh, to keep watching those. So keep it with us here from the 11 Alive Weather Impact team. We'll keep you posted on what's happening in the tropics as much as what's happening here in our local area too.